For years, we've lived with information about the need to have a suitable bed for a good night's sleep. Lost in the middle of all that, the need for a good pillow. Helen Wellings investigates. A bad pillow can be damaging your back. It can lead to chronic insomnia, neck pain, shoulder pain, back pain and also headaches. We spend around one third of our lives sleeping. So the correct pillow for your health and well-being is as essential as a good bed. At last I found the ideal pillow. But because we can't properly try out a pillow before we buy, we often end up and put up with a dud. It's quite hard. It's a little bit like sleeping on a uh, doorstep. Most people have the wrong pillow and they don't even know what to look for when choosing a pillow. And generally the staff in the store aren't qualified to give you advice on, on what's the best product as well. Pillow design has become high-tech science. You can buy all sorts for pregnancy, snoring, allergies, back and neck problems. You can pay from just $10 up to $300. You look for a pillow that's going to support in between the head and the shoulders so that whether you're sleeping on your back or sleeping on your side, your spine is actually straight. Tonight, our pillow expert, physiotherapist Marnie Douglas from Ergo Works, guides you to the best pillow for your size, weight and sleeping position. Our testers also trial these, the latest high-tech models. Kelly Walligan, Francis Croydon and Catherine Stubbs all suffer from neck and back pain. I like a firm pillow and most pillows are pretty soft and when you roll over, um, you know, you have to readjust and fluff it up again, but this was perfect. The pillows we tested all claim to give pain relief, better support and improved quality sleep. We'll tell you soon which ones our testers preferred and whether they're also recommended by our expert physiotherapist. First, the Complete Sleeper Deluxe in polyester and foam from $59. It's height adjustable and comes with removable inserts to adapt to your particular comfort and posture needs. The Denton's Contour Pillow, around $70, is moulded for the head and neck. It does come in a range of sizes, so this is a low profile we're testing. If you're a bigger um, build than um, I am, you can obviously use a high profile. And there are water beds, but there's also the Mediflow water-based polyester hypoallergenic pillow around $109.95. Your head floats over a layer of water, temperature controlled by a thermal insulator. It's certainly very comfortable, but it, I, it didn't give me the support that I was looking for. I was still waking up in the morning with a sore neck. Um, the Mediflow is probably my favourite. Um, that's the water one. Uh, it's quite heavy now because it's got about five litres of water in it. The Dentons, very similar to this tontine foam pillow recommended by the Physiotherapists Association of Australia, is a favourite of Marnie Douglas's because it gives firm contoured support. But again, horses for courses. It wasn't number one with our testers. It didn't work as well as I had hoped. Kelly and Francis, the complete sleeper was tops. And our expert also recommends it. I'd give this a perfect score, 15 out of 15. As soon as I put my head on it, it felt like sleeping on a cloud. It was just, I just melted right into it. It was great. It kind of moulded to my head. My favourite one was the uh, cheapest out of the lot, which just goes to show that you don't need to spend a lot of money to find a solution to the problems that you have with your bad back or your neck. So how about really cheap? A $10 pillow. It doesn't actually provide a huge amount of support when you're sleeping on it. So it's not ideal for a back or side sleeper. If you are a tummy sleeper, this would be the best sort of pillow to get. This temper NASA pillow at $275 should be the ultimate. The expensive pillow, this would probably be better for a larger person. This sort of pillow for me would probably push my spine the other way and I'd wake up in an awkward posture. The firm latex type can last a few years, but she advises don't rest on your laurels. You should seek advice from your physiotherapist as to which pillow is most suitable for you. We need to change your pillow over every six months to two years because as soon as it loses its firmness, it also loses its support. So your head may be in an awkward position while you're sleeping. Helen Willings reports.